Wednesday, May 11th, about uh, 10 o'clock, and back to you with another vlog video for today. I uh, definitely have some updates for you. Um, last night we had uh, A1 American come out and actually look and see what the problem was with our uh, AC unit, our central air unit, because there was a lot of water pooling in the uh, pan that's underneath it upstairs, and that's not normal. It's supposed to drain down to the uh, ground level into the backyard and uh, when they looked at it they found out the problem was that there was a leak that had developed in the uh, condenser coil upstairs and had started leaking Freon and that was causing the system to run too cold and produce extra water so suffice to say we have to get a whole new system so right now we have A1 American they came back uh, around 10 o'clock this morning actually they were here around 9 30 this morning and they were installing a whole new heat central heat a, a unit and also furnace inside so basically we're getting the whole thing replaced the furnace the central AC the in, indoor equipment and the actual compressor unit that's outside so it's gonna be kind of interesting today we're gonna be pretty busy the house is going to be a wreck because there's gonna be workmen coming up and down constantly all day so don't know how much of that I'm gonna get to film um, this may or may not wind up being a fairly short vlog because of it but uh, if I have a chance to film anything interesting I definitely will um, I did run out to the thrift store this morning. I know you guys like to know when I do, and of course I usually do most of the time uh, in the morning. Um, there wasn't anything there to be had. Uh, it was pretty much the same stuff as yesterday, a bunch of old LCD monitors. Um, they had a lot of new um, DVDs out, but stuff that I already have, and because my room is kind of filled with that kind of media right now, I'm not really buying any more DVDs, even if there is, unless there's something I really, really want, I'm just going to have to say no, because I just don't have the room to put anything. Um, I don't know how it's going to affect the installation today, but we are supposed to be getting a lot of rain uh, this afternoon after 3. Anywhere from basically 4 o'clock on, we're supposed to be getting like torrential downpours, possible storms, so I don't know if they're actually going to get to uh, finish the installation today, so I actually have the AC, you can probably hear it in the background, pumping in my room just in case, um, because the unit's going to have to be down for a while while they put the new one in, and if they don't get to finish it today, I want to make sure we at least have a cool place to be uh, in the house if the worst case scenario happens and they have to carry the job in, you know, into two tomorrow and it's no big deal I mean if, if it really got that I don't think it's gonna be that hot tonight but if it did we could all technically sleep in my room you know I could get mom on the couch dad could we could bring a fold up bed or he could sleep in my bed um, it's not that big of a deal but um, I just want to have that prepared and, you know make sure I keep it nice and cool in here and that's what's nice about having a separate window AC unit um, if for some reason the house AC is not working that is, the one I have over there is a Kenmore um, 8,000, 8200 BTU unit I picked up at the thrift store a couple of years back and that is more than sufficient to keep this room at a nice temperature I have it set to 70 degrees and the compressor has been kicking off so I know it's actually staying at that 70 degree mark well some updates um, I still have not ordered a new um, SSD uh, adapter the two and a half or three and a half two and a half to three and a half inch adapter um, I'm hoping that other one comes in I just be perfectly honest with you I haven't really had the time I've been very busy around here lately getting all this stuff prepared you know getting ready for them to come and do the installation today I've had a few uh, jobs been helping out some family friends so I just really haven't had much of a time to uh, work on it um, that computer is still up and running the SSD the one is going to go into my HP 6 core system um, I wound up just hooking that back up right now because that has just a 500 gigabyte uh, West no, it's a Seagate well, a Seagate 500 gigabyte conventional hard drive, which works fine. And I mean, it's a little slow compared to the SSD, but at least I can use it for now until I get all the parts I need to do that installation. Um, I wanted to kind of touch on a subject because uh, I've been getting a lot of hate for the fact that I'm using uh, Windows 10 a lot, and I realized that Windows 10 is kind of controversial. I know it's either a love-hate relationship. You have people on the one hand that absolutely love it, like I do, and then on the other hand you have people that absolutely hate it, will never use it, just going to continue with Windows 7 more likely than not, because they usually the people don't like Windows 10 don't like Windows 8 either. I don't mind constructive criticism, but do not, I'm, I'm letting you know right now, do not post in my comments section um, 
anything that's to the effect of, oh, I hate Windows 10, how can you use Windows 10, Windows 10 is awful. If you're going to post that, put a reason why you hate Windows 10. If you're just saying that, that kind of tells me that you don't know what you're talking about because you have no reason to argue your point. I don't mind having a debate with somebody about Windows 10, but if you're going to put a stupid comment in the comment section and and all you're doing is bashing me because I like Windows 10, I don't want to see that. I don't want to hear it. And I, I, I'm be honest with you. I know I don't usually get this um, angry on my vlogs, but I've been seeing a lot of comments lately that I really do not like. And I'm sorry to say, guys, it, for those of you that that cannot control yourself, if, if it gets bad enough, I'm just going to disable comments. And that's not fair to a lot of you guys that are my subscribers that are very kind and like to leave comments. And once again, I don't mind constructive criticism. If there's something I'm doing that you don't like or something that I'm doing that you think is wrong, tell me. I will go ahead and answer you, but don't verbally bash me. And I've been getting a lot of that, too, on my channel lately. So, it you know, I, I understand there's going to be trolls out there. There's going to be people that are not happy with themselves. And they need to bash somebody. Hey, you know what? If you, want that, if you want me to be the target, that's fine. But just realize you are going to be banned from my channel. You're if, if it's slanderous and if it's something that's a personal attack on me, you're also going to be reported to YouTube. And I hate to say I had to do that a couple of times last week for people that were being extremely verbally abusive. And I'm, I'm just not going to put up with it. I'm sorry. I, I, it, it's not something I need to deal with on a, on a daily basis. And I feel, you know what, I actually feel sorry for those people that think they have to verbally bash me, my lifestyle, what I choose to do. Um, mainly, prob most likely or not, because they're not happy with their own lives. You know, people are not going to bash you and put you down unless there's something missing in their life. So, if you guys have that on your channels where people are just... Um, being very nasty, saying really bad things about you, things that you know are not true, just report them. Do not be afraid to do that. YouTube is an open community. And like I said, I, I don't mind having debates with people if it's constructive. But if you're going to sit there and verbally bash me, and you're going to uh, say negative comments about every aspect of my life, I'm not going to put up with it. It, you will be banned from the channel. So I think we've uh, taken enough time talking about that subject today. Um, like I said, I didn't mean to go on a rant, but it's just something there here that needed to be said. Well, I'm going to go ahead and check on the workmen, see if they need any help. I need to go ahead and uh, shut Simon in one of the rooms because they're going to need to have the front door open. And I do not trust Simon to stay inside. He will definitely try to roam outside, and he's done it a couple of times. And the last, usually the first few times it happened, I was able to say, Simon, get back in the house, and he would go right back in. But now he doesn't hear that well, so if he goes outside, he might actually just ro roam off, and we may never see him again. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I'll bring the camcorder with me, and if I can film anything interesting, um, especially with the installation, I'll go ahead and do that. But until then, talk to you a little bit later. Well, just came downstairs and found on the floor over there, LT is still pulling out her fur, so I think we may wind up having to just take her to the vet and see if she's got some kind of allergy problem. Just looking at it, you can see it's a lot of white fur, so I know this is coming from her belly or her chest area, which I've tried to brush quite often, but it doesn't seem like it's enough. And I think it has to do with the allergies, because um, I was looking at a couple of YouTube videos that uh, someone else said their cat was doing the same thing. Um, I know Vlogging Life's cat has the same problem, and when he took it to the vet, they said it had to do with a food allergy, so what I might have to do is switch them off a lot of this wet food, because lately I've been giving them the, uh, oh, I can't think of what they call it, it's the food from uh, Aldi's, their brand, but now I'm going to start giving them some of these Nine Lives ones, which they seem to do better with. Uh, I got the Super Supper and the uh, Beef Dinner, and they both seem to like that just fine. And this is the worst thing. Mom bought these the other day. These are the uh, Purina Friskies Tasty Treasures. Well, they must have mislabeled them because when she opened them up, they're not the little treasures, which are like the little pieces like that. They're just pate. So I don't know what the heck happened. As a matter of fact, let's see if this one is actually treasures. I'm going to open this up right on camera. This is supposed to be the Friskies 
with turkey and cheese and gravy. And again, the treasure is supposed to have the little bits of meat in there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and uh, we'll see what it actually is. All right. Well, at least it looks like they were correct with this one. This is exactly what the treasure is supposed to look like. In this case, like I said, it's got little bits of turkey in there in gravy. And they really seem to like this um, on occasion, though. I have seen where Simon will just lick the gravy up and he'll leave the actual meat there. So I try to kind of tr uh, trade off a little bit. I, do, but I try to give them this one day and then go ahead and give them something with pate the next day. That way they don't get too bored with it because like I said if I notice they're just looking at the gravy after a few days and they're not really interested in the meat then that means I need to switch off and give them a different type of food and I'll show you the one where they made a mistake this is the one mom opened this is the friskies again it's supposed to be turkey and cheese dinner so basically the same as the other one but as you can see it was just pate that was in there looks really appetizing doesn't it mm. <laughs> So I guess it was just a, a mix-up with the machine at the plant, but they still seem to like this. I give this to them, um, you know, a semi-regular basis. But like I said, if your cat starts getting picky with their food, best thing to do is just to tr uh, change off their uh, wet food a little bit. Try different brands, try different flavors. Now, when it comes to the dry food, I do not recommend using different ones. Um, that can actually upset their stomachs. So we always use the Authority brand. Um, adult hairball, hairball control, it's the uh, turkey flavor, and you get that at uh, PetSmart. We've had them on that for about two years now, and they responded really well. Um, ever since we changed them over to that versus something like Meow Mix, uh, Simon has stopped getting urinary tract infections as well. So really need to check on what type of uh, food you're giving your cats, because if you give them the cheaper food, they are going to have a lot of health problems in the long run. All right, guys, so while they're working upstairs, I thought I'd show you what we're doing for dinner tonight. We have these pork loin country style ribs. I've actually done these a few times. Uh, this is 4.57 pounds. So this should actually last us for two different meals. I'm going to go ahead and slow cook these in the oven tonight. And I am going to use a couple of these uh, Kraft Slow Simmer original barbecue sauces that I get at Dollar Tree. I think I actually have two more of them up here because usually you need at least two or three of these. Yeah, I got two right here that I haven't even opened. So honestly, I'll probably use all three of these with those ribs. Now we're going to do those coupled with some of these uh, Hungry Jack or Gratin potatoes I picked up at the dollar store. These are the family sized ones, uh, six servings. We got two of those. Probably only use one tonight, but uh, figured might as well have an extra one because they were such a good deal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pair this with some uh, Brussels sprouts that we have. So should be a good dinner tonight. I'll try to get a picture of it if I can, um, but I don't know how if we're going to have time. Like I said, it's really hectic right now with the workmen uh, going all over the house. So we'll just have to see what happens. Talk all to you guys, right, guys. A later. So the installers went to lunch, and uh, while well, it's here, I thought I'll show you exactly what we're getting. Um, this is going to be the furnace unit here, I believe, and then this is the uh, in, inside portion of the AC unit. They're Goodman branded. You can see the coils right up here. And again, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not an HVAC expert, but they went to lunch real quick and they do have to go to Lowe's to pick up some extra parts, but uh, I'll try and bend down and give you guys some information. I'm hopefully, hopefully you can get something out of this. See, it's a model number CAPF 4961C6DB. Uh, looks like it's uh, 450 PSIG. So, uh, yeah, uh, they said these are decent units and the installer is very experienced. So, uh, these are coming with a 10 year labor warranty and a 15 year warranty on the parts. So, uh, pretty happy with that. And, uh, We'll see what happens when they install it. Let me run back and I'll show you what the uh, rear outdoor AC unit looks like. Heading to the back right now. From all the rain we've had, it is still really wet back here. I'm actually standing here and I can feel myself sinking in a little bit here. Just got to be a little careful. This after, well, this weekend we're going to try to clean up back here. We want to borrow a pressure washer and kind of just pressure wash this entire... Uh, uh, back patio because you can see that we're getting some mold growth there and we have all the debris from the winter time got some pine cones and things we got to clean off which is really nasty and I can see that we're having some ant problems too 
Got one ant right there. Got another one sitting right there, and these look like fire ants, so I'm actually going to be really careful. I really don't feel like getting stung today. And as you can see, this is the new outdoor unit, much larger than the original one. I would say a good 30 to 40 percent larger. As you can see, it's a Goodman brand. And I, I've looked up in some reviews on these, and they've had mixed reviews. A lot of the complaints about them were the fact that they weren't installed properly. So I really, really hope that this is going to be good for us. Again, I'm not a HVAC expert by any means, but as you can see, they haven't hooked up the power yet. Now, the breaker in this box actually went bad, so we had to bypass this. So this, this is supposed to be like a secondary protection if something goes bad if the capacitor goes bad or something in this it's supposed to trip this breaker before it actually trips the main breaker in the garage but because this had gone bad we decided to just bypass it and it looks like they're going to be installing a new one and that's what they had actually told us from the start i just cannot get over how much taller and just generally how much larger this unit is i mean this is really really substantially larger uh, you can see they have not hooked up the uh, AC lines yet, but I'll show you in here. You can see there's that big metal capacitor. That's the one. That's the thing that went bad on our old unit multiple times. Got some relays there. Looks like there's the transformers in there. They haven't wired it yet. This is where the uh, the freon I think goes in. One is the uh, high pressure and then the low pressure line. And uh, I don't know if they're going to be replacing any of this or not. I think he said he may have to because you can see this copper's kind of gotten a little corroded over time. But, uh, yeah, they definitely said the job is going to be done today. Man, look at that humongous fan in there. Unbelievable. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we're going to enjoy this. They said it's going to cool the house off a lot better than the old system did. All right, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Man, this really gets to me. People are so inconsiderate. Somebody threw out their old Starbucks cup, probably threw it out a window going by in their car right in front of our mailbox. That means I have to go and clean it up. And this is something that happens quite often around here. I don't know. To me, people are so inconsiderate nowadays. I have to take my time, go over here, throw it out. Eh, you know what, guys? It is what it is, and I, I apologize. I know I've been kind of ranting today, but when stuff really ticks you off, you know, sometimes you just got to uh, got to tell it, right? <laughs> this is our lawn guy. Well, I'm going to head inside and uh, talk to you a little bit All later. Right, guys, so I'm back in my room right now. Um, it's going on a little after 12 now, and uh, I think I'm going to end the vlog here, but before I do, I realized, just realized the other day that I never gave you guys a status update on what happened with Mom's car. Um, after we took it there to the uh, shop to get the shocks done, um, they said that the battery inside, that interstate battery that had all the corrosion, was actually not holding a charge. Now, Dad had charged it up before he left the house. He also did a check on it, and everything checked out okay. But when they got it to the shop and let it sit for an hour or so, the car wouldn't start again. So what turned out hap to have happened was one of the cores inside the battery was bad and basically was causing a short. So we did, in fact, have to change out the battery. But once we did that, everything else was fine. The car runs just fine. Now, luckily, Dad had an extra battery sitting in the garage from a uh, project he hadn't gotten around to yet. So uh, that worked out really well. And uh, I'm actually sitting here because the rest of the house is getting very, very uh, warm right now. The AC's been off for a couple hours, and extremely, it's extremely humid hot out right now. It's not necessarily hot, but it's high humidity, so the house is getting very humid. Um, I have a hunch dad's going to come in here in a little bit and say, hey, I need to cool off. It's getting hot in the house. And realistically, we're not going to have central AC probably until sometime late tonight, maybe 10, 11, could even be as late as midnight. Just depends on when they actually wind up getting done with the installation. Um, like I said, they had to go out. They went out for lunch and they had to go to Lowe's, he said, to pick up some extra parts. He didn't tell me exactly what, but just probably some... Uh, installation items that they didn't have in the truck and that's very common I mean there are things you can't always anticipate every part you're gonna need on a job and I heard them up there that they were talking they were saying oh man I didn't know that he had this kind of setup I think we're gonna have to go out and buy an extra part so you know what they already quote us the price and he said no matter what they run into it's gonna be that price so very kind of them and they, they're doing a really good job with the installation they spend they take a lot of extra time 
Uh, they make sure that they clean the lines out properly so we don't have any issues in the future. When it comes to any kind of installation, but especially HVAC installations, you want to make sure you have somebody who knows what they're doing. Somebody that's done a lot of them, that will take the time to do the installation properly. And from what I understand, that makes all the difference in the world. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here for today. Once again, I really hope you guys are um, enjoying these. And I promise tomorrow my vlog isn't going to be uh, so negative. But sometimes I just got to get my feelings out. And uh, I know you guys don't mind if I express them once in a while. And as I say all the time, have a blessed day, everybody.